Hello and welcome to a My Stamp Lady video. I am so excited to share with you the new products that I'm using in this with this card. And uh, we let's see, we have the flower framelits and the butterfly punch in the daydream medallions and a few um, in the fancy fan. Then of course the in colors are actually last year's in colors that were introduced last year. But let's get started and I'll show you how I did this card. Okay, let's set that aside. First thing I'm going to do is take my Whisper White piece and I'm going to ink that up with the Calypso Coral, the large, this is not the largest medallion, the largest one I'm going to use though. And I'm going to stamp this before I run it through the Big Shot with the folder because if I don't, then um, I'll probably get a bumpy image. And so then, let's see, I use the Wisteria ink for in between there. So this is what I like about the clear blocks. And I probably won't get it exactly perfect with this. No, nope, it's not perfect. But I'm gonna just keep going and put it as part of the card but at least I can see someone. Now, if you want it really perfect, then the stamp of jig is there for you to use, or else you could just turn this over and try it again. But I'm gonna go on and just kinda of go with an imperfection with it. Okay, so let's uh, open up, <clears throat> excuse me, open up the tab two. So now I have it on tab one, and let's put down the first acrylic pad, the fancy fan folder. Now Stampin' Up! for some reason, and I'm not sure if it was Sizzix or if it was Stampin' Up. They've made their folders a little bit longer, which is grand and all that you have a little more length, but you cannot fit them through that way then. So what I did, and you can tell, is I just took my Craft and Rubber scissors, because they went through this pretty easily, and just trimmed off enough. It doesn't go, you still have, wow, at least a half inch to get into your image, but I just trimmed off enough plastic so that I can fit it in this way. Although, it doesn't matter for what I'm doing, but there are reasons that it, you may want to put it in the other way. Okay, so let's roll that through. And then pull that out, and now I have my stamped and embossed image. And then I can just, so I'm just going to tuck that up that way, because I will need to use the Big Shot again. So we'll just tuck it up out of the way like that. Okay, let's grab in my card base. And once I've got the fancy fan on there, I don't want to put my adhesive on the back of this one because just by running that across it against the table, you're going to flatten some of your fan. So instead I put the adhesive on the coral and then even just turn it around and it won't press that out quite so much. Let's take a length of the coral ruffled ribbon, Calypso coral ruffled ribbon, and just put a little dot on the back side, and then we'll just, there we go, run that across, let's turn that off, just what I need here, there we go, and put another little mini glue dot on the other end. And run that to the back side. There we go. So it, it's not real critical that my images um, don't line up because I'm kind of covering it anyway. I'm going to use just because that rib ribbon is in there and it gives it a little bit of pull off of the cardstock. So I'm just going to use a little bit of mini, a few mini glue dots and put those down to put that down on my card base. Okay, let's take a piece of the wisteria and I'm just going to take a little butterfly off the end there the little new butterfly punch love 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 the new butterfly punch I'm going to wipe off my image ink here and taking the same flower image that I used on the side of the card I'm putting in a little bit of the blue oops, sorry purple flower and setting one of the larger pearls in the center. Now, 
you've got a couple of, I, I don't know when I look back and I was kind of wondering about putting this larger pearl in there you could have put rhinestones or something and and who knows if I make this card again I may switch that out okay so I have that part done and now I can set that aside and just work on my focal part so with this piece of cardstock I'm going to take the decorative label punch and let's just punch out one of those and while I'm doing punching, let's grab this one and go with the friend to friend, just like that. We'll punch that out, just like that. There we go. Okay, and now I want to take, now this is kind of an interesting thing because what I do, it, is I am going to use the Calypso Coral. On the Calypso Coral, oops, wrong piece. I need that for a different spot. Um, I did the Calypso Coral onto the Calypso Coral cardstock. And then I'm going to use that flower framelit. Now with the framelits, you need to put your tab back down. And let's put down the one acrylic pad pull in my little framelit that I need over it and the the blade is right on the inside edge of the framelit so I know if I place that over that I can just put that down and roll it through and now that's cutting out that little flower for me then I'm going to take my other this is what I love about this now okay so you can line these up and I have my little um, decorative label punch and I've already punched it out and I'm going to go through and just cut the little flower shape right in there and I'll show you what I do with that in a second because I might before I put away the big shot I would like to cut out some of these leaves that I use with the sizzlet back to tab one and I have found with most of my sizzlets I need just a little piece of cardstock to kind of shim that up a little bit. So let's cut out my leaves. This is with Lucky Limeade. Okay, let's do that with Lucky Limeade. Cut one. Okay, and then we'll cut. See, if you don't put that little shim in there, it might not pop out as easily from the cardstock. And then I just want one more of those little leaves love these leaves I use these leaves over and over and over okay so let's put this down and go through and then we're all done with the big shot and actually almost done with this card okay so I'm just gonna tuck this up and out of the way okay and there we go so now I have my leaves okay so then what I did is because this will actually fit right into there and I'm just going to set that on the back side, fit that into my space, take a piece of tape, and just tape that down. So now I have a little flower in the center of my decorative label. Let's set down my friend to friend. Pull in the regular pearls. I have some here. And we're just going to set one on this end and one on this end here. Okay, and then we're gonna grab some dimensionals, pull my card that I've got going so far. And before I put the dimensionals on there though, let's see, let's figure out where we're gonna put that flower. I'll just put a little bit of adhesive on the back here. Let's figure out where we're gonna put the flower. There we go. That looks good, I like that. And with the top, I probably will, actually, I'm going to just break off that part because I don't want quite as much at the top. And let's pull that in there. Okay, now all that's left is to throw, oops, I've got a little piece of something on there. Throw a dimensional on the back here. Little leaf covers off. And there we go. And there's my card. 
If you have any questions about what I did, be sure to contact me at chris at mystamplady.com. And thanks for watching.